Well, the wind gets the bread. When I come back, we're going to start, okay? Hey, you got five? Yeah. Five out of eight? Yeah, you got five too. Cool. Whoa, you guys got a five? Oh man, I only got four. Oh, that's sad. Like, look here. Like, I know, that's sad. But like, look here. I shouldn't have gotten a mistake here. Ha, you got four out of eight. Yeah, at least I passed. What score did you get? Eight, of course. Higher than yours. Oh, really? Eight out of eight? Well, good for you. I'll get the score one day too. Of course, no. You're so bad at math. Just sit down. Don't say that. I'm good at math. No, sit down. Hey, don't say that. Albert definitely likes math. Well, good for you if you're on his side. I'm just supporting him. Well, what's your score? Uh, 7 out of 8. That's probably why you're supporting him. Your score's still lower than mine. Listen, Kelly, one day I have a score higher than you. Well, technically, there's no score higher than yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Albert, Albert, Albert. Don't say that. Kelly's bullying me. Don't say that. Kelly's my favorite student. What? Oh, come on. Alright, we're going to start discussing the first question. So kids, for the first question you're going to find is the time. How do you do that? You find that by... Oh, I hate Kelly. Like, she's so annoying. She keeps on saying that I'm not good at math. But like, I know that I'm good at math, right? Am I, am I good at math, Charlie? Charlie? What, what, did you hear what I said? Uh, yeah, bread. Oh, I wanna eat bread. Oh, yeah, me too! Oh. That's not my point, Charlie! Oh, yeah, you're good at math. Of course you pass. Oh, so you'll teach me? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. So I will go to your house. I will stay for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And I will most likely get an A. You got that right. I'll get a seven. Yep, sure. Maybe I'll get an A. Obviously, of course, yes. it is better. Of course. Are you listening to me? Yep. Oh yeah, I heard you the first time. Let's go buy bread. Okay, let's go. Oh, Charlie, I didn't know you know how to play the guitar. Yeah, I like music. Cool. No bread if, if you're not finished with your homework. So teach me now. And after you're done. What if I don't know the answers? Um, do the ones you know first, and the ones you don't know, I'll help you answer that. Oh, fine. <sighs> Ah, Charlie! Did you just please teach me this? No. Charlie, you promised! I don't want to. Uh, oh. I'm just going back home from school. Oh, he's able to shoot this. So no, he's not. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's so super easy. So, do you make any progress? No. So, we're just complaining and not actually answering the question. So, we have to do just. Find this one, right? Yeah. Just use the cosine law, which is this, this, this is over this, mm -hmm. and just substitute the numbers, which are the sides, and boom, you got the angle. Just you multiply that by this number to find the area, and you're done with the question. Do you understand me? Yeah, no. <sighs> Let me eat this bread. Teach me now, or else I'll kill you. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> You're so slow, I'm done with the solution. Come on, just let me do it! Fine, do your solution. Oh, so um, the answer shall therefore be 25. Teacher, is that correct? Albert, what? Albert! Give me that. It's supposed to be plus. Did you ever listen in my classes? Shut up. Well, then get it right next time. Hey, kids! No fighting, okay? Especially you, Kelly. Don't bully Albert. Only I can do that. You guys have to be friendly to each other. Does anybody here still remember the story of the tortoise and the hare? Anyone? Charlie. Uh, the fairy tale where the tortoise wins the hare in a race. Very good. I love that story. However, what I'm going to tell you is the extended version of the story. Because, you know, the rat, the hare, and the tortoise, they made another race. 
This time, they were crossing the river. All right? So we've got the hare and the tortoise. They're doing the race together. All right, all right. You get it so far? The hare was, he was helping the tortoise, carrying it so slow. When they only came to the river, the hare was gonna cross it. You get me, okay? So the tortoise helped the hare cross the river, and in the end, they crossed the finish line together. Are you all following? What's the point of the story? No one wins. Absolutely correct, Kelly. Spot on. No one wins because it's about teamwork. Just take an example of Charlie. Look how he's helping his team classmates. Is Charlie your favorite student now? Yeah, of course he's my favorite. I thought you wanted Kelly was your favorite. Yeah, so? I thought you kind of two favorites. And you can't have an eight on the test. I sometimes fabricate my friends. So what? Get over it. Does that mean you're lying? So does that mean Kelly is not your favorite anymore? Just because she has mistakes? I'll wear a bed and you stop trying. Did you just say Charlie is his favorite? What did I just say about not fighting? Stop. This is too hard. I don't want to play it. What are you playing? A song that I want to play for myself. I'm not really learning it to play for like in front of my friends or something. To your friends or do you mean to your bread? <laughs> that bread pun was awesome. Get toasted. That was so <laughs> bad. That I'm not gonna teach you anymore. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry. But you know the song was awesome anyway. Thanks very much. Merci beaucoup. Oh, so you know the answer for this question. It's very easy, right? No, not really. This last question is hard. I still don't get it. Let me see that. Oh, it's a 3D problem. So you can see there's like a triangle, right? And there's like another triangle connecting it here. Like a line in between. And then so they share the same length. Uh, and you use that as Did you get it? Mm-hmm. Sure, why not? Anyway, here's a better example. Um, Say I have two triangles, right? Yeah. I place them on top of each other, like the question states. And... You can see that they share the same uh, line over here. Yes. And once you know this, you can use that to find the area of the question, like the question asks. Do you get it? So let me eat this bread. First finish the question. Do you even know the answer to this question? Yep. But actually, no. What? Okay, bad news, guys. Many of you got the last few questions wrong. Good news, at least you've improved on the other part of the test. Especially you, Albert. I love that improvement. Keep it up. Oh yeah, I got six. Oh, oh, oh. I, got, I got six. I got six. Well, your score is still lower than mine. Wait, wait, wait. Kelly, you've got that question wrong too, so zip. Mm, 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 mm. Get toasted. Or should you say, get toasted? Hey! Albert, sit down. And Charlie, your solution to the last few questions was actually correct, but yeah, your answer was still wrong. Anyways, you guys are going to have your quarter test next week, so be prepared. <laughs> Since most of you don't seem to get three problems, I might as well just remove them from the test. Really? No three problem? Heck yeah! yeah. Oh, this is so hard, there's so much pressure that comes with all these stuff. No! You once said never to give up, right? Yes, indeed, never to give up. So let's answer this question. I don't know what you're waiting for. Do we need to study 3D questions? Yeah, you used to think about those 3D problems. I think I found out the answer to them. But teacher said that there won't be a 3D question inside the Agus exam. Really? Yes. But what if? He could be lying.
I might as well just remove them from the test. Then, in that case, can you teach me? Okay. We all should work on this together. Right? That is a good idea. In that case, we should start with this question, the first 3D question. Do you know how to do this question? Oh yeah, that's simple. But, you, but that's 2D, so. And so, uh, when you find this midpoint, uh, with the hypotenuse, you can find this angle, which is abruptly named theta. Um, yeah. So this is my answer, how about yours? Oh wow, well, we have the same answer. So, this is it for the test? Yep. Are you ready for this? You mean ready for this? Ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. But are you ready for this? I'm more ready than I was born ready for this. Ready, ready. I was born more ready. <laughs> Good morning, students. I'm done checking your test papers. Teacher, but I thought you said you wouldn't put 3D questions in second test. When did I say that? I said I might. Also, they're easy. Well then, Albert, you know, actually, you've always been my favorite student, you know. Oh my god! Seven out of eight! I'm awesome! What? I got seven out of eight? Oh, Kelly! You got a seven out of eight? That means you have the same score. That means I'm as smart as you. No, seven out of eight, that's the same score, so you're not smarter than me. Who would get an A anyway? Charlie, did you get an A? Yes. What? Uh, yeah, whatever you guys are doing over there, I'm just gonna go down and drink some water. When I'm back, we just got the questions. I'm not good at math anymore. Don't say that, you're good at math. You can work together and achieve great things. Be the best person you can be. Exactly! Teamwork is the best! Teamwork is a dream work! Sure, we can be good friends. No, you should say we'll be good friends. What do you mean by good friends? Oh, you get what I mean soon. Now let's play on wrestling! Winner will buy bread. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one! It's a never to give up, right? Well, that's probably why you're so good. Because you're the best person. You're worse You're stupid. Like, I'm gonna have a guy who got two in math. You shouldn't talk to me. Six, six. Uh, what the heck? Seven out of eight. Yes, 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 y